Now, lines are the most uh, basic or fundamental element of art. Uh, it's what art is made out of. Um, line, color, space, texture, and line, color, space, texture, and value. Uh, so today we're going to be learning about um, lines. We're going to be exploring lines. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. So there's many different types of lines. Uh, there's zigzag lines, rough lines, short lines, thick lines, diagonal lines. Uh, if I could add some more, six would be maybe... Uh, Curvy lines, curved lines. Uh, seven um, could be um, jagged, jagged lines. There's a lot of different uh, types of lines. And the more lines that you create uh, in practice, the better you are. So this lesson uh, takes your hand and I can walk you all through this. And what you do is you just trace your hand out. Trace your hand out while you guys are up here. Thanks everyone that's on uh, on right now. But this is going to be like a, a asynchronous lesson, pretty much. But if you do have questions, you can let me know. So I'm tracing my hand right now. Step one: trace your hand. So the lesson isn't about patterns, but you're going to eventually make patterns uh, with the different types of lines that you fill in from your hand. All right. So you have an empty hand like this. Um, if you ever do yoga, they're like, give me my money. Uh, it's a hand joke, but um, it helps you stretch. But anyway, so you have an empty hand. We're going to divide this hand into five different sections. All right, five different sections. So section one is going to be from my wrist to just below my pinky. And then I'll go from mid wrist to my index finger. And then I'll go, uh, I guess, close to the right over to the thumb, but this only gives us four sections. Un, deux, trois, quatre. So we're, we're gonna fudge one more section here. We'll make a V here, and we'll take this up to the pointer finger. All right, so that's step one. Step one, let's write that down. Trace uh, your hand. In French, hand is main. Uh, number two, divide your hand into sections. You're going to make sections, five different sections. Number three, select or list the kinds of lines you're, you're planning on using. All right, so on my original list, we stopped at number five, um, but I added to the list so that you would have more to choose from. I like when students are able to make the art their own and not just copy what I have. So um, there's curved lines, jagged lines. Um, If there's thick lines, there's also thin lines, right? Uh, number nine, I think we're gonna try to get up to 10. Uh, there's also, uh, I guess swirls? Swirls could be considered a type of lines, swirl. And then 10, one more type of line, let's say, uh, oh, Hatched, hatched lines. Hatching is a really good uh, art technique where you take these short lines, they could be long or short, and then you cross them to fill in space. All right. So 
You've got zigzag, rough, short, thick, diagonal, curved, jagged, thin, swirly lines, and uh, hatch marks. And so what I'm doing is pretty much this is kind of like the, the mid progress. And then this is the finish, uh, the start. Um, step three would be to actually execute your plan. So um, you section it off and then create a plan. So plan the lines that you're going to use. Plan the lines. All right. And then four, after you plan what lines you're going to use, you're actually going to start filling them in. So, uh, well, let's say you're going to number them. Make sure you number them, too, to keep in order. So this would be my section one. This would be my section two, section three section four, section five. All right. If you're coming in late, this is just a lesson. Ooh, why is this blurry? Okay, there we go. This is just a lesson that I'm putting up for uh, students that I'm not teaching this semester. All right. Exploring lines. All right. So, um, and then five, execute. All right. So what I mean by executing is actually starting to fill them in. So I started out by making zigzag lines, zigzag lines, zigzag lines all the way down. And then I made rough lines, rough lines all the way through. And then I made uh, these like short lines here in this section. And in section four, I'm going to make, I'm going to fill in these thick lines and then in section five, diagonal lines. So this is kind of like a cooking show where they pre-cook the food and then they show you how to start the food and then they finish it off. So hatching is a good way to fill in spaces. And that literally means crossing. Um, and here number three, section three, I'm uh, creating these short lines. I'm going to fill everything in. I really like doing this project in black and white and just allowing uh, that high contrast to fill in the space. And I prefer you do it with a pencil or pen and not a marker because I really want you to get your practice on creating lines. Uh, as you're doing this, this is allowing you to um, uh, build de dexterity in your hands, uh, more eye hand-eye control. Um, And it's also uh, bringing out creativity. Oftentimes, even though this lesson is about lines, uh, we're definitely making patterns here too. So, um, next I'm going to section four. Section four is thick lines. So I think this is gonna be the first area where I, uh, I'm a better artist than filmer, I see. All right. I didn't even think about this, but wavy lines are really popular too. So maybe these could be wavy lines inside of my thick lines. This is a really simple project you can do with pen and paper. You don't need many supplies. And it looks great. It's something you can frame up. 
And once you have the confidence to create all types of lines, that will build your confidence in creating all types of shapes. And once you can build lines and shapes, you can pretty much uh, draw anything you put your mind to. Okay. So these are my thick lines. All right. All right. So this last section, and then we're going to end right here. Uh, we have these diagonal lines. I'm going to choose. Uh, I'm going to add wavy lines as a bonus. How about that? Wavy. All right, so in between my diagonal lines, I'm going to make some wavy lines. Notice I'm turning my paper upside down. Um, when you're working on a surface, it doesn't always have to be uh, upright. It should be in the area that's most comfortable and most conducive to you creating the best artwork that you can make. All right. And this is our lesson. So if you are in grades three through five, uh, I would love for you guys to create uh, portfolios. I know you're going to junior high school. This would be a good thing to bring into junior high school with you. Um, so I want everyone to sign and date it, sign and date your artwork, make sure it's legible. And the reason why I want you to sign and date it as well is because I want you to see your growth from the beginning of the school year to the end of the school year. How would this artwork, how could you build upon this artwork um, later on in the school year? Um, there's going to be skills and techniques that you're going to learn that, um, that um, will take your artwork to the next level. So we'll put the date. Uh, the date of today is uh, the ninth month, um, the 10th day, and the 20th year all right and uh j p all right so i'll put this in my portfolio thank you guys so much even if you aren't in second grade through fifth grade you can still work on this but this is just a bonus lesson that i'm creating all right au revoir have a great day